correspondent Joe Lynn Kent is in Seattle tonight. Uh, they've had a, a mixed day. I think it's fair to say there today, Joe Lynn. Hey, Brian, we're in the Capitol Hill neighborhood, and I want to show you this massive march of peaceful protesters. We've been following them for a couple of hours now. It's 8-11 here on the West Coast, and it is two hours past curfew. And the name of this protester game today has been peaceful and patient. We have been following them for a couple of days now. And if we pan up here, Sam, to the top of the street, that is where the police line is. And that is where the protesters are trying right now to negotiate to go. Now, some of them are moving in a different direction, but that police line is holding steady. There's three layers of law enforcement there, followed by the National Guard. Uh, the governor, Governor Inslee here, deploying the National Guard uh, yesterday, about 400 uh, individuals in total. But this is the center of a conflict with President Trump. He, as we saw today, gave that address to the nation. Governor Inslee here in Washington pushing back on the notion that the National Guard should get more involved with these protesters. In fact, he just put out a statement not too long ago saying, Governor Inslee saying about the president, his admiration of authoritarians around the world should not allow him to violate 200 years of American tradition of local law enforcement. Now, as we We've been walking with these individuals alongside them in this peaceful protest. So many are saying that this is Black Lives Matter. This is about achieving justice and achieving justice for George Floyd and so many others who have come before him. And you have a very diverse community out here in Seattle. So many people coming out in favor. In fact, we have to remember that as we are in these closer quarters, we are still very much in a pandemic, right? And several of the protesters have told me today and late last night and into yesterday that they couldn't sit at home because they needed to do something. They needed to have their voice heard and say something about what is happening in our country right now. So they put on their masks, they brought their hand sanitizer, and they decided to come out to march. But what's happening here is you're seeing the movement go from downtown all the way up here to Capitol Hill. That is the East Police Precinct there. That Protesters deep inside there are still negotiating to try and get some of that to be broken. Now, what was remarkable yesterday, Brian, was as we were watching the protesters at the police line, we saw a lot of engagement. It was a really remarkable thing. You saw Seattle protesters having conversation with local law enforcement, the local law enforcement engaging peacefully with the protesters. At one point, the police line breaking open peacefully, allowing those protesters to march through. So that, along with the cleanup that we have seen throughout Seattle and Bellevue and all across this area, you do see an attempt at peace. And one of the organizers saying that he hopes that this is a tipping point so that something real can be accomplished, he tells me. And that's one of the organizers leading this massive march. And he is standing there in the thick of it, trying to get through to the East Precinct here in Seattle. But I'm glad to be able to say to you, Brian, that it's peaceful. Folks are patient tonight. They're thinking about the long game. That's what a lot of these protesters are telling me. Brian. I can't tell you how glad we are to hear it. Uh, thank you for that report. Joe Lynn Kent in Seattle tonight. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.